Well, Kenpo is a Chinese term. And uh, earlier when the Okinawans studied with the Chinese, they always called it Kenpo, you know, as if it was the mother art. The thing that's special about this, this is here uh, the first Americanized version that's been introduced to the American public. Uh, heretofore, it's been Okinawan systems, Japanese systems, Chinese systems. But as a street fighter in Honolulu, I realized that some of the things that they're trying to uh, promote in terms of actual working movements really was not very practical. So I had to kind of revise, create, add to the system so that it was geared for the type of fighting we found in our environment. Visualize energy as a gathering storm. It flows to the hand. The hand consigns it to the primary object. As the primary object is destroyed, it is consigned to the secondary object. And so on. Like an atomic chain reaction. Kempo is a combination of ancient fighting techniques and modern scientific principles. An unending flow of motion. A force which can overwhelm any attack. Every move creates a specific reaction in your opponent. Each reaction leads you to your next move. Every strike is a block. Every block is a strike. Each move flows into the next. This logical and sequential flow of action is the essence. Kempo, uh, it isn't tied to a historical master. It's only tied to, to the reality that we live in. It, it really is the science of street fighting. A little bit of a change in my body at the right moment. This moment is perfect timing. A little change is a big difference. Jeff over the years has developed, he's developed control. A lot of times they say, oh gee, you pull your punch. We don't, I don't teach my guys to pull a punch. I teach them to control a punch. See, and there's a difference. They say, well, if you pull a punch, in a real crisis, you'll be in a habit of pulling it and not hurt a guy on the street. Well, that's not the case. That's not good, see, because part of my body went that way and the strike is this way. So I split my energy. Even if I stay right here in the middle, it's okay. It's a pretty good shot, but if I go in, Kempo is an art that's a beautiful system of flowing lines and circles put together in a logical sequence of action. You know, Bruce Lee studied with Ed Parker for quite some time and was heavily influenced by Kempo. It's an incredible opportunity for me to be able to, to show my art the way that Mr. Parker would like it shown.